Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, please do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today, we are discussing the Blanc Paul Le Mans Tourbillon Semanier Grand Dot. 40 millimeters in pink gold. This is a timepiece that puts it all together. Loomed, automatic, long-legged, complicated, beautiful, and wearable. A watch launched in 2006, this particular pink gold variant is a 188-piece limited series. And of course, those who have a little bit of background in Blancpain complications will recognize the hand of the master, as this complication was originally designed for Blancpain by Vincent Calabrese famed for the Quorum Bridge, among many others, and one of the co-founders of the AHCI, so you're getting a little bit of independent horology cool with this watch. On my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, it's easy to wear. 40 millimeters, so it's a modern case size. It's fairly large, but lug to lug, an almost impossibly constrained 44.8 millimeters. So you can actually wear this watch on a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters in circumference. It's not thick considering what's inside. 14 millimeters thick, and the spacing between the lugs, a nice broad modern 22 millimeters. So it has a large, substantial, and planted footing on the wrist. The strap is built to match. The grandeur of the strap equal to the occasion of this watch. It's thickly bolstered, but softly rendered. The leather is buttery. Medium rectangular scale alligator leather in a medium brown. You can see a sheer cut, so you can see the layers of construction bolstered as it abuts the case. The monotone stitch on the top and on the underside, you can see a natural and very supple black calfskin. There is a full pink gold deployant clasp, and you can see it features a minderless system. So you simply size it, you tuck the excess length underneath the body of the clasp, obviating the need for any minder loops, and there will be no excess length flapping in the breeze. So the clasp is both secure and smart in its design. Deployant clasps give you a little bit of insurance against droppage. The case band is strong, but simple and distinctive of Blancpain. If you're going to have a giant corporate name blazon on a watch, I find the profile, especially given that the profile is somewhat tumble home oriented and rounded towards the bottom, but putting it on the flank of the case where it abuts the wrist, where it's unlikely to be seen, is discreet, thoughtful, and distinctive of Blancpain. You'll also appreciate that the watch not being too large wears its high polish well. A 42, 3, 4 millimeter sports watch or complication could overpower in colored gold. Here it's well chosen for the size of the watch, and the mass metal is broken up by the junction of the lugs with the mid case, as well as the bezel with the mid case. Uh, the sharp cleft between the lugs and the case itself creating strong character lines on the flanks, and the lugs with a nice tumble home from the middle to the side, and also a little bit of a teardrop profile from top to bottom. The bezel is a double gaudron variety, which is to say, let's get a little bit closer here and improve the focus. It has a sort of double stacked appearance, and it will fit easily under a cuff thanks to its relatively slim profile and s ramp or sloped profile when viewed from the side. So it is an easy watch to wear with formal attire. Now the dial is a silver matte finish, a slight satin. It glows rather than explodes. It's not a sunburst. Sunbursts explode. Opaline finishes tend to glow. It is the Semanier, which is to say you have a chart showing you the weeks of the year radially indicated. You have a day and you have a double date, the Grand Dot. You also have a power reserve tracing the 168 hours of power, and this is an automatic winding watch, so in some ways that might be academic, but it's a nice thing to have because this might not be your everyday watch, and a seven-day power reserve gives you the flexibility to rotate through where this one occasionally and not have to reset its many indications. All of the indices, as well as the hands and the scale for the power reserve, are pink gold to match, applique indices fully loomed, stepped apertures from the dial down to the base of the twin discs for the date, so it's a nice progressive break. You also see that the tourbillon itself, and I'm going to get as close as I can, the tourbillon itself has a slight stepped aperture, and you can use it as a second subdial because it does render a 60-second circuit. It's a one-minute tourbillon, and the bridge on top is black polished, but I should say that's the tourbillon carriage on top. There is no upper bridge. It's a flying tourbillon, beating away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. So a flying tourbillon, so there is no obstruction by a bridge of the tourbillon mechanism. And you'll love the fact that all of the black polished glory of that tourbillon cage is visible without actually removing the watch from the wrist. So there's a lot of dial side fireworks. But if you do resort to the case back, you'll appreciate the fact that it all begins with 100 meter 
superior water resistance. That's right, you can swim with this one. And it continues with a hand skeletonized and freehand engraved, not rose lathe guilloche, freehand engraved rotor. So that white gold rotor freehand engraved over a movement adjusted in a chronometer like five positions, automatic winding with a unidirectional action for efficiency. It features 35 pivot joules and all of the standards have been get that rotor out of the way, a fine finish. There is mirrored anglage on the edge of the bridges, and you can begin to see it glowing on the edge of the winding bridge. There is a linear Cote de Genève hiding on the winding bridge itself, just below the rotor, and you can see that there's actually a tight engine-turned prolage across the plate just below. Appreciate the fact that there is a circular satin grain on the wheels themselves. Even these have been carefully detailed, and all of the screw heads feature a black polished cap with a chamfered slot. This is a watch that leaves nothing to chance. Every surface decorated, every single detail exhaustively executed. This is as good as it gets, guys. $146,000 new, now a $60,000 watch pre-owned. Make it yours and live the dream on the watch box. We're back with the Lamal Tourbillon. As you can see, automatic winding, swimmable with 100 meter water resistance, fully loomed, fully complicated. This watch does it all. Note that they even loomed the indicators for the power reserve scale and the day of the week. It is an indictment of watch collectors' collective IQ that these watches now sell for half their original retail, while people pay 55 grand for Nautilus and steel. Oh well, you know better. See it on the watch box.